Hello Cancer, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a general message for Cancer. I'm going to be pulling from these two Oracle decks that I've combined. I have the Energy Oracle decks and the Enchanted Map. And then I will clarify with some tarot. Spirit, please bring forth the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general message, so it cannot resonate with every Cancer watching. So feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, shared, or left me a comment. I read all of your comments. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's see what we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Cancer need to know? Okay, what does Cancer need to know? So these messages could be about love, career, finances, and family. It's whatever spirit wants to share. Golden Palace. Um, Sagittarius just had that. Golden Palace is all about stability, um, financial um, security. And then we have education. Some of you could be studying. Some of, others of you are just doing research on something. Um, learning. This is all about learning. Could be learning from an experience, learning at school, learning at work, etc. What else do we have? for cancer okay I got intention so some of you have um, are attacking something with intention interesting maybe some of you are intent your intention is a better job or your intention is to learn more about a particular situation for others of you it's just stability at home or at work stuck in the mud interesting some of you are trying to get out of a particular situation improve a situation bottom of the deck i have mountain which is all about obstacles some of you could be trying to overcome an obstacle so let's see what the tarot has to say messages for cancer please messages for cancer please what does cancer need to know others of you are just kind of with stuck in the mud, I'm just getting no movement. Almost like you are a little paralyzed and cannot, you're not moving forward on something. But your intent is to get to this, this uh, golden palace, which is all about, you know, having something stable. In fact, I just, you know what, let me read this because sometimes I feel like I have a few of you watching where some of this message here could be more um, it could resonate better with you so this says the golden palace represents good fortune ambitions fulfilled wealth and prosperity it may also indicate emotional fulfillment as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that's long overdue the message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have no matter how abundant your life is instead it comes from what you are how authentically you're living your life and how much love you're willing to share. So I'm going to just leave it there. There's more, but you get the gist. What messages do you have for cancer? Huh? Starting off with a bang with the tower. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but this to me is just a whoa, whoa, unexpected shakeup. Interesting. I have the Empress. And the Ace of Cups. There could be um, some sort of shakeup regarding a mother figure, a wife, sister, female leader. There could be a shakeup with, it's almost like something fell down and it's brought you abundance and new love as well. I have the sun under the deck. Sagittarius also had the tower with the Ace of Cups. What messages do you have for Cancer Spirit? Any other messages? Three of Wands. 
Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands also showed up for Sagittarius. Two of Wands. Okay. Again, I feel that there is... This obviously has to do with waiting. Someone's waiting for the results of something. You could be waiting for a text back. You could be waiting for an acceptance letter. Um, the approval of a loan. The approval of something. Um, a message. Results from something. Um, I feel like also there's a decision that you guys are making. Again, with stuck in the mud, I feel like you haven't made a decision about something yet. I feel like there's... Either of these um, decisions has potential, and that's probably what's keeping you stuck in the mud. This could be in re uh, related to love. With the Ten of Wands here, I feel like there is a cycle ending, something completing, um, a burden that will no longer be on your shoulders. This could be something like paying off a student loan, um, working hard at school and graduating, etc. Fill in the blank. I'm going to clarify and see. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this tower. What happened here for Cancer? What's this tower about? Spirit, what's this tower about here for Cancer? Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like whatever tower is happening, and I have Knight of Swords under the deck. Someone's coming in hot to deliver a message, um, almost like a, either an apology or an offer of love, and it's gonna just be completely unexpected. Tell me, oh, okay. Tell me about the Empress. Empress is all about birth, creativity. Okay, we got judgment. Another major arcana here. Some sort of awakening, judgment call. Your decision could have to do with this Empress energy, with um, creativity, the the creation of something, the growing of something. Ace of Wands under the deck. Another Ace. So all about new beginnings, a new spark. I feel like with the um, oracle cards I have up here, though, I feel like some of you are really, your intention is to learn about a situation, to do your research about something, to grow something, to expand, to be more abundant, more fulfilled emotionally and financially. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. This could also be a divine sort of awakening of some sort that you've had. A realization. Maybe brought about by this Knight of Cups in this tower. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Okay. Ten of Swords. Three of Cups. Temperance. This could have been a third party. I feel like something's end something has ended here in divine timing. Some of you could be reuniting with someone. Others of you are putting an end to a third party situation. And for others of you, you recently broke up with someone and you met someone else almost, almost quickly here I'm getting. Met them at a party, happy hour, work, school, etc. gym, fill in the blank. But um, I'm really get the, yeah, I, I'm getting the sense that that happened as well. Others of you have been patiently waiting for a third party to end for your Ace of Cups. Page of Pentacles under the deck. Definitely somebody coming in hot with an offer here. Tell me about this Three of Wands for Cancer. Thank you. Okay, fine. Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, some of you I feel like are waiting for this offer to come in. This person is a fighter. This person has fought for you or is want, needs to fight for you for some reason. Um, others of you, you you either block this person or vice versa or you're just not speaking or something where you have your walls up with this person. Which is kind of funny because you're also waiting for them at the same time. This could also be um, an offer at work as well, some sort of financial um, windfall or, or an offer that's financial, remote, like has something to do with uh, work or money. But I do have the Ace of Cups here and the Knight of Cups, so I strongly feel like this is an offer of commitment. Something you've waited for, again, have Justice in the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra. It could be um, a Sagittarius as well. Scorpio, I have also water here, a lot of water. 
could be dealing with a water sign you could also be dealing with a fire sign because i have wands as well a lot tell me about this kind of want okay yeah some of you are putting an end to a situation where you had financial um difficulties or just feeling left out feeling alone isolated that's definitely stopping tell me about the two of wands this is a decision that you guys have to to make you're almost like weighing your options here even though this is in the two of pentacles that's the energy that i'm getting here whoa queen of cups what else do you have for the two of wands please for cancer hermit okay so you could be dealing with a virgo someone with virgo in their chart or again a water sign i feel like you guys are very emotional about this decision um but with the hermit i'm getting that you haven't made it yet it's almost like you need some time alone to think about what you're going to do Others of you are finding, trying to look for your star, your wish, your full, your, it's, your intention is to find a way out of a situation. You're still searching for that is what I feel here. This could also be related to the offer that you have over here. This queen of cups, she's holding a nice big cup of love. Um, but with the hermit, you know, this is very solitary energy. So this is someone who's alone. It's almost like you haven't decided what to do here. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. I feel like this is a strong connection or a strong partnership of some sort. Right after that, I have the six of wands. So victory, success. I feel like if you're looking for your soulmate, here's your answer. <laughs> very interesting. This is a great reading. I, I, have, I have very good energy here um i feel like whatever ending is coming or whatever tower moment is coming it's not going to be easy but it's going to bring you stability and love which who doesn't want any more of that right all right cancer thank you so much for watching this video if it resonated with you please let me know down in the comments what this situation is all about if it did not resonate with you that's okay it just wasn't your reading but check out your other um placements to see if there's any other messages for you and i'll see you guys in my next video